So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, an external synth or sound module as part of your MIDI setup in Pro Tools. Uh, I've got a control synthesis Deep Bass 9 all wired up, so I've got the uh, uh, audio out to the uh, a line input on my interface, and the MIDI out from the interface is connected into my Deep Bass 9. Uh, this was originally a sort of 303 clone, uh, it doesn't actually sound anything like one, but uh, it's a pretty nice synth all the same. I'm going to do this a little bit over the top for what I usually bother with, but uh, it's going to be good to know. Uh, I'm going to go to my audio MIDI setup first. Now there are two pages to this, you can see here's the audio devices page, but what I'm concerned with right now is the MIDI window. And this shows me uh, all of the interfaces I've currently got uh, connected to my computer. Uh, key station, this is uh, my Oxygen 8 controller keyboard, and Sapphire 6 USB, that's my audio interface, which has got, as you can see, a MIDI in and a MIDI out. So I'm going to add my Deep Bass 9 to this. Uh, we're going to go to Add Device. Here it is. Uh, double click, give it a name. And I'll fill in the manufacturer as well. Uh, it doesn't actually transmit any channels, so I'll get rid of these. Uh, and it can receive any of the 16 MIDI channels, so I'll leave that as it is. Uh, we could put an icon on here. Now if I open the icon browser, uh, there are some generic and some native instrument ones on here at the moment. There's nothing here that looks particularly like the Deep Bass 9. So let me show you how you can add to this list. Uh, let me go to the Finder, and I'm going to go to the Macintosh hard drive, Library, Audio, uh, MIDI Devices, generic images and if I just hide all my other windows for a moment I've already found a picture of a deep bass 9 and I'm going to add this into here like so okay if we go back now to the audio MIDI setup uh, I'm going to have to refresh this a little now at the top of my list I should see there it is my picture of the deep bass 9 okay it's not the most inspiring looking synth but you know every little bit helps I'm now going to tell my computer that my Sapphire 6 USB MIDI out is being used up by being connected to the deep bass 9 everything I've done here is actually unnecessary uh, it's just going to help with the labeling routing back in Pro Tools So uh, I'm going to do this using an instrument track. Um, so Command Shift N. It's a mono synth, so a mono instrument track will do. At the top of this window, I'd like to set the MIDI out from the instrument track to go to my Deep Bass 9. See, it's already coming up in this list. And we'll go for channel 1. And then on the audio section of this instrument, I'll set this to be instrument uh, line in, which is what's currently connected. Now when I play my keyboard, I have my deep bass 9 part. Now that's all very well uh, for while you're composing and setting things up, but of course if you go somewhere else, you're going to need to uh, bounce down your synth part as an audio file, uh, not to mention there are going to be some latency issues with this. So to do this, uh, I'm just going to create a new audio track. I'll call it uh, DB9 bounce. I'll uh, mute the audio element of the actual instrument track, check the instrument input, oh, sorry, the audio track instrument is set right, and all I need to do now is to uh, 
well, hit record. There's nothing to record at the moment, so let me uh, switch through to this window. I wrote a bass line earlier, uh, here it is. So let's throw this in and uh, this in. Arm my track, set my record to start and end points, and hit record. <laughs> Great, I can now mute this, or keep that muted actually, <laughs> and this is now an audio file of my external synth. So fairly straightforward. In the next video I'll show you Pro Tools MIDI real-time operations. <laughs>